What is on your agenda? I mean, what is really coming up that people in the district need to know about? Well, Duke, as we talked about in the early part of the campaign and in the late part of the campaign when you came to visit me, mm -hmm. we care about those issues that impact all Texans. So I'm focusing on public education. I'm focus on, focusing on safety in schools. Mm -hmm. I'm focusing on transportation and water and infrastructure and electricity. Right. Real bread and butter issues for the district. I know that's not terribly sexy, but I can tell you from the people that I represent, that's what they care about most, and that's what we're going to focus on. Right. And I think you saw today with the governor's State of the State Union, he's also focusing on those very important issues, and we're going to be working diligently with him and with the speaker and with our other members to make sure that we can address those challenges that all Texans face. You, there was a lot of talk last session about the sanctuary cities and, and, and those bills that were killed or that didn't get through. Is, is there, what's the word as far as uh, those making their, their way around again this session? We have talked to a number of members about what is on their agenda with respect to those items that impact the Hispanic community. I know there are a couple about the Texas Dream Act, about the Texas Solution, uh, sanctuary cities. What I'm finding this term, and from my conversations with the membership and the people in the Senate and also in the executive branch, is that there's just not the kind of appetite for those divisive issues this time mm -hmm. that there was in the 82nd legislature. I think Republicans were a bit chastened by what happened in the last election. We recognize that we need to do much better in reaching out to our friends in the Latino community. And so I think the legislature is focusing on, again, issues that can provide opportunities for Hispanics rather than those issues that divide us as a people. Well, Texas obviously is, is a growing Hispanic state, and we have a major immigration issue. Uh, is there anything being addressed in the legislature um, that has to do with somehow resolving immigration or border security? Great question, and one that's being addressed now federally. So yesterday we had the Gang of Eight propose the general outline, the contours of an immigration reform program, comprehensive immigration reform, that could work for us. Now I know that there's some controversy around path to citizenship, and we'll have to explore what that ultimately will mean. There's no legislation written now, mm -hmm. so we don't know what the final proposal will look like, but that's something that we're keeping a keen eye on here in, in Austin. Now I can tell you from the state level, there are initiatives underway to do such things as uh, promote the Texas solution. The Texas solution was something that was supported by the Republican Party of Texas during the most recent convention. Mm -hmm. It was also recently supported by the Texas Federation of Republican Women. Right, right. Now on the House here, I know that Representative Gonzalez, Representative Lozano and I, I have talked about how we can uh, propose something similar here in, in, as a resolution in the House. Mm -hmm. and so we're working on what we can craft that we can get some support behind. And, and part of that is kind of positioning the Republican Party as a, as a lead role on immigration, which I think people are looking for. I hope so, and I really do believe that the Republican Party is deeply interested in making sure that we connect with our Latino brothers and sisters in a real way this time, and I think we're doing that. Senator Cruz has a wonderful article that he wrote in the Wall Street Journal about what he calls opportunity conservatism, and I'm a strong believer in that. I believe that we as a state and as a government, as federal government, need to, to look closely at how we can provide opportunities through our conservative principles. Let's talk about lowering taxes. Let's talk about lowering regulations for small business owners. Let's talk about those issues that we care about as Texans and that will impact Hispanics just as well because voting Hispanics are Texans. Rather than those issues that divide us as a people.